So the Knowledge Transfer Partnership, the Digital Leicester Project, had um, two important outcomes. The first was the the move, I guess, into a PhD, to become a PhD, um, where we would have a tighter focus, um, more depth, effectively, in the ways in which we were working with practitioners and educators. Uh, I say we, but Lucy, really, was um, would be working with practitioners and educators in trying to understand um, their engagement with digital technology and what it meant for their continuing professional development, but more importantly, their professional identity. What One of the things that kind of facilitated that was um, the use of a different methodology, in particular grounded theory, um, which enabled a different set of voices to be uncovered um, and also a different set of, um, a different theoretical perspective to be uncovered. Um, in particular, one which focused upon the professional identity of, um, of secondary school educators. The second important outcome from the, the knowledge transfer project was the way in which schools in the city then took ownership of um, the outcomes of the project. So the project morphed into a new set of networks, an, an open education network and an open educational resources network, which became self-governing, um, which defined their own projects um, with their own outcomes and were looking to self-manage in a way that extended one of the, the critical ideas of Digilit Leicester, which was that this would be very much a bottom-up, grounded um, approach rather than a top-down corporate um, implementation of a specific framework. Um, and one of, the, one of the things that this did, I guess, was then enable us in two directions to repurpose um, what we were doing around research impact um, and in particular enabling us to think about um, how the work that had happened in the project could be disseminated um, across a, ver- a number of levels, but, in- but ostensibly inside schools with school teachers.